Eugene, do you breathe a sigh of relief when the last heavy workout's done? Yeah, yep, yep. So that's, that's uh, I mean, we're done. Like, uh, nothing we do from here on out is going to make us uh, fitter or more skilled or, you know, stronger. Like, uh, all the hard work's done, finished with the, today's uh, infamous spider workout. So uh, I, I breathe a sigh of relief when uh, we get through that and, and no, there's no niggles and we're injury free because that's still quite a physical workout and it's only a week away from the fight. So if anything's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong on that last workout. So I warn the guys, we want the intensity there, but we want to be very careful um, with the positions and yeah, hard to do, of course, with, you know, keep the physicality high, but watch out for injuries. So we got through that fine. I'm very happy now it's uh, fight week, which is, uh, I mean, fight week for us is, uh, it's actually a little difficult because that's when we start tapering down and not working as hard, which is actually quite difficult to do for the guys because they've just been up here. It's hard to come down here, so, yeah. And what you saw today, is that, you know, because I know you've had ups and downs where you thought yeah. they were a wee bit behind, and that, yeah. what you saw today, was that pleasing to you? Yeah, I mean, that's what these guys do. You know, they're professional athletes, you know, when, when it's time to flick the switch, um, that's what they do. This is what, this is, this is, I mean, this is how they make their bread, like, um, they were born to do this. So when it counts, they're able to switch it up a few frequencies where other people aren't. And that's what you saw today. These guys' professionalism um, shine through. The mindset of all, all three of them are, like, really switched on. You know, it's something that I, I've noticed, especially in Dan, I, I don't know, he seems to be a different different guy since Melbourne. Yeah, I mean, like, look at the position he's in. Um, like, after this, you know, you're right there. You're right there. This is the, this is the, 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 the doorway, the doorstep. Well, it's the doorway, not the doorstep. We've done the doorstep. He's at the doorway. He just has to take one foot through it. And then we're like, you know, one fight away from a title shot. Or, if circumstances are in Dan's favour, something happens here, something happens there, he's the title, he's, he's fighting for the title. You know, that, that's how it's happened for a lot of these people. Injury here, pull out here, missed weight here, you just never know, but he's right there at the point where that's a possibility. And uh, as you know, like, that's why we do it. We do it to be the best, yeah. Uh, Israel working alongside the guys here today, um, yeah, was he where you want him to be as well? He improved from last week. Uh, a good noticeable improvement. Um, and that's, you know, and that's what I want to see. And it doesn't always happen, uh, like if I be honest. Sometimes you're at this level and sometimes one week it comes down a little lower, so. Uh, but this week he stepped up a bit um, and made some progression, so, so it was very cool. When you had the big week, you know, with uh, the Sportsman of the Year and all that, yeah. do those things get in the way? Um, nah, nah, not at all. I think with the amount of media and uh, all the, um, the step up and obligations that we've had, you know, for the last uh, two to three years, it's just part of, it's part of the lifestyle, part of the sport now. So it's just, it's very easy to, to deal with, like water off a duck's back, it's, you just deal with it and then just carry on. Like, uh, we did our workout, we went and got our suits, we rushed home, had a shower, put our suits on, went to the Halbergs, we rushed home, went to sleep, and we got up early in the morning and trained, like, you just, you just get it done, it's just a part, of, part and parcel with, you know, what happens nowadays. And what's the ticket sales, is it going to be a sellout? I would say it'll be a sellout. I'd say that I, I think the only seats left now are like single seats that are hard to get rid of because uh, people don't want to sit by themselves. But they'll they'll go in the last week, so we're looking at a at a sellout. So it's going to be yeah, just a fantastic atmosphere down there. And what about you on uh, on Saturday night? Those fights, the eternal show. Do you go to both places? Yep, yep. So yes, I mean it's a busy weekend, but. 
man, I just, it's, a, it's a busy weekend doing what I want to do, so I'm, not, I'm never going to complain about being busy when it's, you know, when, I, when I'm busy with the thing that I want to be doing, so it's a blessed position to be in, but yeah, uh, you got six fighters in eternal, three in the UFC, back to back, um, yeah, and a, and a busy fight week, like, obviously this is our hometown, so those UFC guys have got all sorts of uh, media obligations through the week. We've got a, um, a ball fitty, uh on Tuesday, which will be something that the boys are looking forward to. We're going to be welcomed on. We're going to be welcomed on a little bit earlier than all the guests and the other UFC fighters. By Nati Fatwa, and we're actually going to be on the welcoming side, which is a little bit different to us, but that's something we really feel uh, privileged to be a part of, and yeah, we're looking forward to that. How, how different is it for you, Eugene, being at home? You know, like, for, not for this week, uh, that would be a blessing being at home for that. But you're usually away in Las Vegas or somewhere, you're staying in yeah. a hotel. You, you must get more rest then than when you're at home. How, what, what's it like for you? Um, it's very different having fight week in our own home city. It's completely different. Um, you know, when, when I go overseas for fight week, I mean, we just train once a, once a day for 20 minutes and I don't have to be in the gym. And, and uh, most of us get pretty bored hanging around the hotel. We're trying to kind of occupy ourselves with different activities and, and it can become quite, uh, quite boring. Um, but fight week in our home city, um, we'll just carry on life as per usual. Uh, come and teach women to warriors in the morning at 5.15, so I get up around 4.20. Um, I'll be in the gym, we won't be in a hotel, you know, in, a, in the hotel gym working up. So it will feel a little bit strange in that respect, you know, that we're doing fight week uh, in our home city it will definitely bring a slightly different feel to it. The boys will feel it too. But again, we're just tapering down, so the boys will just come into the gym once a day, uh, keep the body moving, keep the body sharp, and uh, yeah, we'll feel a bit different, but um, we're just going to embrace it. We're just going to, you know, we, we, we're going to enjoy this week, enjoy this moment. Uh, one thing about fight week is you don't have that weight on your shoulders. Like there's no, all the hard training's done. Now it's all mental and it's all about recovering the body and it's all mental. So like that's a tremendous weight off your shoulders. Not that you, not that it, all the weight's off your shoulders because you still have to do the fight, but the fight, fighting part's the part that we love the most. Like that's the part we're trying to get to. That's the part we have to do all this hard work and this hard grind to get to the rewarding part, which is the actual fight. So we've done it, it's done. Like the weight's off our shoulders. And now we can just cruise into this weekend. We feel a sense of relief. So does that mean, uh, as far as like the uh, tactical side of it, that's done as well, or you don't you don't go over and say, "Hey, remember to do this." Remember. To no, do that, this. I mean that's done. That's yeah. done. It's and it's in a place that we want it. It's in the place we want it to be. But of course, during a week, uh, we do some very light training, and we of course we we go over our strategy and tactics because I mean that that doesn't stop till come right up until the fight. Um, and it's not that they don't know it, it's just reassurance, it's just more repetitions. The more the better, so that, go, that carries on right up until, you know, the, just before you walk out. But the strategy and the tactics are locked and loaded in the subconscious and the conscious, like that's all done. Now it's just keeping the body moving, keeping the engine running and uh, getting through this week. Um, some, some people would think uh, a week away at a flash hotel would be ideal, but I think it's, uh, it's, it shows you down to a T that you, <laughs> you would rather be here at daybreak in the morning and leave here at dark at night. <laughs> That's just who you are. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't like planes, I don't like travelling, I don't like sleeping in, you know, outside of my own bed. Uh, for me, that's just part of the job. This is perfect. If we could have every fight in Auckland, how great would that would be? But that's <laughs> that. I mean, that's just me um, being selfish. So <laughs> that can't be the way. But it would be good for the country. But that's just never going to happen. So this is fantastic for me. This is ideal. This is how I would. 
if I had a choice, this is how I'd always have it. Well, if you're happy, we're all happy, mate. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy it's at home.